Hello, this is the Queen Who Care Cares for You on a sensational Saturday evening. Well, afternoon, rather. And I hope everybody's having a wonderful, beautiful uh, Saturday afternoon. Saturday evening. Well, Saturday afternoon. I hope you don't have to work. You're just in a relaxed mode doing what you desire to do. Living the life on your own terms and agreements along with your the ability along with your responsibilities <laughs> but um hope all is well and i am here at kroger's not my kroger's where i work at but i'm um taking my nephew uh, up street from my house there's a kroger's which is a nice really nice kroger's actually it's better than the one that i work at but um he is picking up a few groceries and i i don't been in kroger's so much i do not want I do not desire to go in Kroger, so I am sitting in this car. I had to uh, pay a bill. I did that, and um, I'm just sitting here waiting on him so I can take him back home, drop him off, and I am on my way to Costco. Can't wait to get there. You know, I, like I said, I'm a, I love this job. I'm excited about it. I mean, I have so much fun I'm doing my little samples and giving them out to the customers and the members and having a good conversation with different types of people. I really enjoy it. I really, really do. And it is so very easy. Like I say, flex. if, hey, if you, you're along my age, or uh, maybe you younger, and you're just looking for a good company to uh, um, a sell in, try uh, the name of this company. It's called, well, we actually don't, I don't work for uh, Costco. It's called CDS. And um, they take a lot of retirees and people my age and young people too working there. And like I said, you can start off as a um, event specialist, but then if you want to go into be supervisor, go into um, corporate and all that, you can. You can with this company. They are willing and exciting to help you to advance in this career. But um, hey, me, I just want to have a nice easy job till it's time for me to retire and i might retire from i'll probably be retiring from corporate or whatever but i won't be retiring as far as working because you know i you know i love to do my traveling business and um i love to learn about different different destinations and all this kind of stuff and um getting certified in different places and all this kind of stuff but I, and I also want to tell you guys if you are wanting to be in the travel business hey feel free to put it in the comments get in touch with me because I am looking to build a team of travel agents where we can learn all this stuff together and we can be traveling the world and just um just helping much people as possible create memorable moments because that's what it's all about now it's nothing wrong with having nice things and material things. I had that all <laughs> in my lifetime. It was a point in my lifetime where I didn't even have to look at prices when I went shopping. I just got what I want and, hey, kept it pushing. But, um, you know, life changes. Things, hey, I done lived both in. I can actually say I lived both ends of the fence. I done lived the fence where, I, hey, I had it good and <laughs> good, good, good. And I done lived the end of the fence where I didn't have it so good, good, good. But you know what? You live and you learn, and we are, we are infinite beings, and we are spiritual beings, um, ex experience human in human form, the human experience. We are spiritual beings, experience hum uh, human experience, or however they put it, something like that. <laughs> but anyway, I just hope um, you guys. Uh, Hey, feel free to reach out to me at any time, and I'm just a regular person, and I just love to encourage and motivate and uplift. Like I say, I share my daily life experience, experience, uh, much as I can. Not as I want to get uh really more with my content, more heavy than I have been with my content, but um, so I'm not gonna you must say no, but I'm just gonna look at try to make no excuses for myself i'm just gonna make it do what it do and i'm coming hard and strong before 2024 get here but um y'all will be seeing me uh different places and stuff 
doing different things. Hey, that's why I call it the Queen Who Care daily, my daily life, because this is my daily life, what I do on a regular. You know, I, I hey, I, you know what? I wanted to take a better picture of that car. That car just pulled in front of me um, yesterday when I drive my own way to work, and it was so funny when I got to my job getting ready to turn in the parking lot. I seen that car came from nowhere. I wish I could have got it from inside. It was a really nice sports car. I, I really love nice cars. I like to, um, you know, just look at them, just admire them. So when I see them on the road, you will be seeing um, me, you'll be seeing videos from time to time with very nice cars. Um, I plan to go to the Tesla um, car lot as well because I was looking at them. Uh, I like those cars. I, just, I actually like the inside of them. I like the white, white. <laughs> I like the white, white, white. If I had to get a white Tesla, it wouldn't be nobody in that castle but me. Because I'm going to be the only one to keep that Tesla the way it needs to be um, kept, which is clean and sparkly. <laughs> I would I would not be riding no passes. If I did ride a passes, I have to make sure I got a seat cover because it would not be uh, nobody can't mess up my white seats. <laughs> But um, I will probably go to the Tesla and, hey, just, you know, who knows? Anything is possible. Anything can happen. Uh, I just wanted, um, I hope y'all, I did a quick um, video of my new uh, Costco's on inside uh, last night. And um, it was kind of, it's a small space. It's just where we prepare, you know, they we pretty much uh, go in there and punch in and out, and um, we get little things we might need um, for our cart, and you know we can get on the computer and do little training and all this kind of stuff. And it's a very small space, you know. And um, but the lady that my supervisor, she keeps it so nice and neat. She has everything lined up nice and neat. She's a very nice woman. I mean, very compassionate, considerate. She is all above what you would want in a supervisor. And I take my hats off to her because it's not many supervisors like that. She, I mean, she passed by, uh, oh, about three or four times for the day. Asking, do you want a break? Uh, do you need some water? Are you okay? And, you know, that's what it's all about. You, When you like that, you will always keep good people. You really do. When you got these supervisors that just don't care about nothing, you just a number, and they want you to do all this work, don't even much ask, did you eat something today? Is you okay? You feeling okay? How can you keep somebody? You're going to just have a revolving door because you don't have no compassion for the people. And you have to have compassion for the people. You really do. If you don't have no compassion for the people, you're not going to keep a good staff at all. I have been a leader many times on jobs. And I tell you, you have to be always... I treated, um, I raised my kids the way... Uh, I raised my kids the way I wanted them to be, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. Now, hey, some might, you know, some might fall off course for a while, but hey, they, you know, they're pretty, my kids are pretty good kids. They're pretty good kids. Mm. They're good kids. I ain't gonna say pretty good, good kids, you know, but um, the things I see that other parents go through with kids, I, I have to knock on wood, I never did. <laughs> But um, then even though with my son incarceration, hey, this is the first time he ever been in prison and spent time like this. And you know what? Everybody's entitled to make mistakes. This is this is life. And you know what? What I always say, don't what don't make what don't break you and make you. You live and you learn. Life is one big classroom. When you make your transition on the other side, you are continue to be um learning. So oh, it's hot today. And I rolled down my one night. I didn't put on my air conditioning because I just wanted to sweat a little bit anyway. But um, I had to be to work at 2. And I tell you, time is going fast. It really is. Time, we don't know, man. That's why I say you have to do what you're going to have to do. Because if you don't do it, you will be left behind. But um, I just, uh, it's some more things I want to say. You know what? I need to be writing this stuff down because I be trying to cover. My, it be on my mind to say what I need to say. And then when I get on here, I can't remember what I'm saying. But, um, y'all, you know, just continue living your best life out here. It's a lot going on in this world, but you know what? You can create your world. I always say, create your world the way you want it to be. Life is truly what you make it. It's what you make it. Don't let nobody tell you no difference what you make it. 
like I say, everything you see with your naked eye, I hear somebody, it started in somebody's mind first. It started as they imagine it, they imagine it and they focus on it and it came into reality. So that's the same thing you have to do. You know, I'm getting, you know, it's a lot of, we know in the past, you know, I see people on YouTube, they talk about the, the how the white man treated us and all this kind of stuff. But you know what? I think we're going to have to get past all that stuff. We really do, cause if you keep on um, thriving on that, you you ain't gonna like you ain't gonna like now white person on the face of the earth. And you know what? I have to say, hey, I experienced more racism to, with my own people than the white people. I have to say it again. I experienced more racism with my own people than white people. I'm telling you. You know, hey, we know, yes, those was a different set of white people in them days, and, you know, they treated us, you know, they, hey, I, I ain't gonna say they ain't know no better, you know, it was, maybe it was the upbringing that made them like that, you know, generation, generation of just um, colonizers, you know, they was raised by colonizers, they great, great parents was, was colonizers, and they, you know, they, they became to be colonizers, so that just like so. It's a lot of white people now do not believe in slavery and all this kind of stuff and how we was treated and all that. And even to this day, I know it's a lot of injustice still going on. But you know what? We we still can create our world the way we want to. You know, I, like I said, I was looking at a documentary, and I the documentary went on to say about how. These white people was admitting that they were prejudiced, and then they was admitting that they are, um, what did they say? They say that they have white power and all that kind of stuff, you know, and they know that, hey, they favored by the police. They can drive fast if they want to. They can do what they want to do. They are not going to be stopped by the police because they have white power. They have privilege, and they know that if they were a black person that was speeding and they got caught driving, speeding, and all that, the white man stopped them. It's going to be a problem. They're going to get beat, even killed, whatever. And they know that they don't have to experience all that. They know that they can go anywhere they want to. And they know that because of the color of their skin, that they're white, they are not, nothing's not going to happen to them. And you know why all that yeah, is true? Because they believe it. But you know what? I believe that I got universal benefit, universal power. And no matter where I go, <laughs> no matter where I go, and and where I drive and everything, I got doggone university benefits, university power, universal power. So we have to think like that. We really do. And you know what? We just have to think, you know, we we just can't put ourselves in arms way. Now, we do know we can't be stupid and dumb. We know there's people out here, places that we ain't got no business being at. You know, we know that. We got places we ain't got no benefits. We can't be dumb about it, neither. We really can't. We can't be just ignorant and dumb and say, well, you know what, I can go anywhere and you go in these little precious town and then next thing you know, you being pulled over, then went to jail, then got beat, killed, whatever. You got to be smart about stuff. But you can't create your world, you know. You ask the universe to give you will and knowledge and understanding to do what you need to do to survive in this uh, universe. And go to places, uh, you know, where you're accepted, you know, you go to, a, me, myself, I'm not going to all these European countries because I know how these people think. I know how they, they're thinking in, my, my, in their mind. I'm going to places that dominate with my skin color. I don't, I have no desire to go to Greece and, and, and really Paris and all them places. I really have no desire to go in them places. If I ain't, if there ain't a lot of us there, I do not have, <laughs> I do not have no desire you know, I'm going to put this uh, video on my playlist that I was looking at the other day, and it was telling about, you know, no you know, no matter where you come from, all races come from the black race. No matter. We were first on this earth. White people, and all other cultures came out of us. All, I'm going to say it again, all other cultures came from the black race. It came, and it goes down to break down how... Uh, those other uh the europeans came about i'm gonna put in my uh playlist and um y'all check it out and you know make some comments and tell me what you think about it we can um hey join together you know the, the new year coming up i want to do a lot of things i want to be 
you know, have webinars and, you know, maybe we can talk about different topics and you can ask some questions and, you know, I'm just going to take, I'm going to take my YouTube channel to another level. I really plan to. I don't know how to do all this stuff, but I tell you what, you have people that's out there know how to do all that stuff and I am willing to pay them some money, a small fee or whatever, to, um, you know, elevate my YouTube channel. Um, but I, hey, I start just re doing a lot of reading and finding how I can do all these stuff, Zooms and webinars and all this kind of stuff. And my brother that's working out there, um, that's working in the uh, daily, hey, stay strong. I'm glad that you got some help around good people and um, your your experience in the department, hopefully it'll be a, a whole lot better than my experience because I tell you, my experience was... <laughs> And they still calling me to work in that daily. They still calling me to work in that daily by myself. They want me to come in and close. They want me to work from 5 p.m. to midnight. And I don't know why they want on, okay, on, if I'm working Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I got to work by myself. Uh, I do have a lady come in on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. She works from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning cutting meat. And um, then you have another guy come in at 1 o'clock. By the time he get down, I'm about finished with everything. He come in at 1 o'clock. On, he he just does the flow, maybe take out trade. And then they still be asking me to take out trade. See, this Kroger, this this particular deal is too darn unorganized. If they had they stuff act together, it will be smooth working for them. It would be smooth picking up a little extra couple of dollars or whatever. But you know what? I am going to focus more on my traveling business learn much as I can and like I said if you guys out there and y'all want to become a travel agent please comment below um, I am like I said I'm looking to put together a good team where I can learn you much as help you learn and grow and um, we can get together and have our own you know webinars and travel together and seminars and help and just hey if you got a passion for helping people and and um so we can get out this nine to five <laughs> get out this nine to five and hey get the bag get the bag so we can spend more time with our families so we can experience more learning more about our um more more about our uh states and international travels and all this kind of stuff and just have a good time no matter where you live at, you can live in the Caribbean. Hey, we can make we, you still can become a travel agent. Um, like I said, you if you desire to be one, if you desire to be one, it's a, and it's a good. It, I mean, it's everybody does it. Everybody travels, so you might as well hey get into it and learn the business and create all type of memorable moments and do the things that you desire to do in this life. Besides, because you know what. Think about if you work on a business, the way you work on your job, you'll be way far ahead. But you know, everybody want that check. They want that cushion. They want, <laughs> they want to have that steady income coming in. One thing about being an entrepreneur, you got to have faith. You got to take risks because you know what? You're not going to have that cushion. You can have that cushion, but you're going to have to work hard to get that, to make it happen. You got to work when you don't want to work. Hey, instead of working 40 hours, you might have to spend 80 hours, you know, putting time into your business, you know, marketing and um, prospecting and um, learning about the business. And, you know, hey, you it's, you, it's a lot of sacrifices have to be made. And you have to be willing to make those sacrifices to have a better future for yourself and your family. And you know what? That's what I want for myself, and that's what I want for you guys. So, if you are under the sound of my voice, let's make it happen. Make it, make it happen. It's time for us to have a queen who cares community. A queen who cares community. And not only, hey, I'm looking to have a, a, a physical queen who cares community. <laughs> I'm really is. I know, I'm not, hey, but I want us to be in one accord, hold one head. And be in agreement with each other. I don't want no negativity from right now. Y'all forgive me for all the negativity that I put. If I put any negativity on this site, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. But um, 
right now is all going to be nothing but positive vibes. Nothing but positive vibes. A queen who care is coming like, coming to you every day with positive, positive vibes. Positive, positive vibes. For real, for real. Even if I give a little short video just sending out some positive vibes, that's what I'm going to be doing. Because um, that's what it's all about. And that's what uh, going to keep us in a good state of mind environment because when we go out here you know you got all this negative energy but you know what you got to just like i told my son i told him he was telling me how some officer something happened where it really got him upset something got to do with his id and they took five dollars account with an inmate when you take five dollars account that's a lot of money that's like taking five thousand five million because <laughs> you know they ain't dealing with a lot and the little money they got in there Hey, they treasure. They try to hold on to them as much as they can. So, um, when you taking five dollars out their account, that's a whole lot. So he was really mad, mad, mad. And I told him, do not get play into that negative energy. You just keep a positive mindset. Keep your energy up high because good things will come to you. But if you put yourself in that bad setting, bad, bad things, bad energy gonna keep coming your way. How about? He called me back a second time and said, you know what, guess my, this guy, he said, um, canteen, and he said that he would give me double canteen for $20. He's, it's a whole bunch of it. He told me, can you spare $20? I said, sure. Yeah, I said, see, you kept yourself in a positive energy, positive energy, and see how um, that positive energy got you pure D blessings. Blessings, blessings came your way. You got more than enough canteen. And he told me, oh, if you send me anything, don't worry about sending me um, extra because I got more than enough canteen. But I'm ending this. I'm getting ready to end this because I don't know. I don't want my phone to just go out. I just want to get the whole video in. But yo, you guys have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your Saturday. Relax. Hey, relax. Love. Keep your energy up. And not only um, give out give out positive energy to other people as well. Be a blessing to somebody some type of way every week. Somehow do something that can bless into somebody else's life. Because that's what it's all about. We are here all to we are here to love, teach, and grow each other in all areas of our life to build up one another. And with that being said, y'all know to subscribe, comment, share. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace, love, and happiness. And know that a queen who cares, cares for you.